<clears throat> Hello. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is demonstrate how to use room markers to better optimize your interior. So in my last tutorial I looked at layers and these can be used to kind of help organize a very large interior. But the problem with that is that if your interior is very large, the game will be loading everything at once and that could potentially be quite intense on uh, on people's systems. So you might want to optimize your interior by using room markers. Essentially what these room markers will do is it will create little markers surrounding each room. And that will mean that while the player is within that room, only that room will be loaded and everything outside of it will be hidden. And then we'll create a little portal between the rooms to um, so the player can see through. Otherwise, yeah, we'll be able to see the void and that won't be good. So I'm just going to hide my lights that I put in a separate layer in the last tutorial. But for this, we're going to need to make sure markers are on. And now we're going to want to go to view and show slash hide window. And we're going to check this portals and rooms. And you see markers are going to have to be on. Because if markers are off, we can't see any markers. So we need portals and rooms. Now I'm just going to hide that. And so now the quickest way to do this really is uh, to select all the walls of our room. And this is nice and easy because I've made rectangular rooms. And now I'm going to just move that out of the way. And we're going to want to click this up here which creates a room bound. And now you see we've done that, we've got this uh, blue marker here. And now what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to turn off this and I'm just going to expand it a little bit forward and to the left because you see here we're right 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 on the edge of the uh, room and I actually got, I actually already did this once for practice and when I went in in the practice having left it like this that wall was hidden so I'm just going to extend it slightly so my room bound just goes ever so slightly out of the out into the void so now we, this wall will definitely be loaded because it's definitely inside every object has to be inside otherwise it won't be loaded the important thing is that the pivot point of each object has to be loaded, by which I mean the point at which it rotates around. So if I grab this foot locker and spin it, we can see the pivot point is right in the middle. That needs to be inside in order for it to uh, to work. So now I'm going to just bring that back up again. I press, to, I press 2 to bring this scaling gizmo up, by the way. And now I'm just going to... These two rooms basically need to be as close as humanly possible, so I'm just going to drag that until we're sort of halfway-ish through the door. That'll probably do. We'll see when we draw the next marker. And now I'm going to do exactly the same. Just press 2 to get rid of that. Exactly the same again. With this. Like that. And I'm going to draw another room bound with this here. And again, I'm just going to make sure this back wall is a little bit outside of bounds. Just make sure that's in. And now just get these as close as I can. That's pretty close, like the, the gap is tiny. So, press 2, get rid of that. Next up, we're going to want to create a portal between the two rooms, because at the moment, if a player were to enter this room, when they look through the door, they'd just be able to see the void. And then when they walked through the door, this room would just magically appear. So we're going to need a little portal to show up here in order for the player to see through just specifically this door. So, first of all, we're going to want to enter portal mode by clicking this. Oh, no, wait, don't do that. What we're going to want to do is, first of all, select the room, select the first room. So, um, then zoom in. Now we're going to enter portal mode, because once we're in portal mode, we can't select anything other than portals. So we have to make sure we've selected our room first before we enter portal mode. And now we're just going to position ourselves so we're looking at the door frame. And we're going to click to draw a portal, and I'm going to click uh, in this area. Now the portal might end up appearing over here, but hopefully it will appear in the door frame. No, it hasn't appeared over there. It doesn't matter if it appears over there because we can just move it. So I'm just going to hide the scaling gizmo to make it easy to move. And just click and drag the portal toward the door. Just I've got I've got a grid rotate on. You probably want to get grid rotate on. And we're going to get as close to the edge as we can. And if it's a little bit away from the edge, when we link the portal up to the other room, it will just move itself up to the edge. So now I'm just going to bring the scaling gizmo back up with two. And scale this so that it fills the door frame, otherwise we'll be able to see the void. And we don't want to see the void. Void's not good. So now, just turn the scaling gizmo off. Making sure the portal is still selected, we're going to exit portal mode. 
and now we're going to control click on this other room so now we are we've got our portal selected and we've got the other room selected and all we need to do here is select link portal to room like that and save that and that is as it that's as simple as that now that portal you can see the two arrows linking room to room to portal and the portal will have moved itself right up to the edge now that we've done that so that is basically it for our tiny little interior if you had a larger interior it would take more time and it would be a possibly a little bit more fiddly if you had rooms that were odd sizes but generally you want to make sure that you don't have any very long lines of sight as well that can cause issues and just make sure everything is inside each portal room now I'm actually going to go into the game and demonstrate this now um, so I'll just go and do that okay so I'm here in Abernathy farm which is where I placed the door in the very first tutorial that I did so now we're going to go inside and hopefully well we'll just have a look at the room everything should be nicely rendered I have already been in here and I did spot some clipping issues from where I didn't make it properly the first time so there's the clipping issue look so basically that's all fine we can pass to and from see I've got this wall here is too close to this wall but that was from way my fault way back in the first tutorial and we can see it's dark but this dark isn't to do with the um, portal it's to do with the light box that I drew back in my light box tutorial and I'm just gonna go through nice and slowly everything's fine there if when you go through everything blinks in and out of existence for a second then your room markers are possibly too far apart and also we can go in third person without any issues as well which is a good sign so that's it from this uh, from this tutorial hopefully that was useful thank you for watching and goodbye I usually end by uh, killing and eating somebody but I don't know if anyone, anyone to do that to now oh well anyway thank you for watching and goodbye